Hi guys, welcome back to the challenge. I'm Wayne, creator of the challenge. Wow, what a busy week we've all had. Um, I've been copying, I've been um, following uh, a lot of you guys through the week and dropping lots of comments on your Facebook page. Um, and did a nice post on my Instagram. Um, where do I start this week? Uh, let's start with shout outs. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do one shout out this week for someone who I found who is really amazing. And I'm gonna, I have got more shout outs lined up for next week. Um, uh, and he's called Tripping with Red. Uh, I'm linking my bio. Um, he did a vlog about four, five weeks ago called Dying to Live. And if you watch it, the music's really good. It's not a video, it's a montage of clips from someone's journey. I'm not gonna say too much. I would highly recommend watching this. Um, because the, he's virtually an exact copy of me but there's photographs of when he was ill I don't have you when, when I was ill I was on my own and I couldn't get good selfies in in all fairness they didn't look very good um, and uh, yes so that was uh, a really good one tripping with red really good channel uh, and he's a Disney fan worth following um, no what do we do next what do we do next let's have a think um, the Disney car Yes, I finished the Disney car. The Disney car is finished. Um, I hope you like the Disney car. I'm going to edit out now. And there we go, you've seen it. I hope you liked the car. Um, it was three weeks of painting, six tins of paint, masking, drawing, and you're the first people to see it. I like to do things on my channel that people haven't seen before, really interesting things in my channel that you haven't seen before. And I can honestly safely say, that's the first time you'll ever see anything like that because it was made up here in my head, which as you probably all know by now, is a little bit wacky. Um, at the same time, I've also got another treat for you, apart from the Disney car. Um, old School Disney, I hope you like Old School Disney. Um, this is for the Old School Disney fans out there, okay? Hang on one second, just let me get this, hang on. Ooh, you're gonna like this. I made this. I've been dying to make one of these for ages. Well, it's actually really heavy with all the motor and stuff inside it. And children, you probably won't know who this is unless you saw the Lindsay Lohan remake recently, which wasn't as good as the classics. But there we go. It's a Herbie car. <laughs> and I made this at the same time as the Disney, the low rider Disney car that I made, the one-off Disney car. This isn't a one-off, but I'm still thinking it's Disney. And I think right now we all need a little bit of Disney magic. So there we go. You've seen something else. That's, that's two things you've seen, hopefully, in my... Uh, vlog that you've not seen before so hang on a second then I'm just going to put this down on the floor one second okay um, so the challenge um, I'm going to put a link to the series to the, the video that I did which told told you about the challenge it didn't go into too much detail went into the rules of the challenge what it was created for um, however um, so far what I can tell you is it's still going ahead. Um, I've noticed today that Disney have blocked out up until the 9th of May. Um, and so they've obviously extended it another week. So by the time you see this, you'll realise they've extended it another week for their, their closure. I'm pretty sure my May trip's not going to happen now. Um, but my trip in November is still going forward at a pace. Um, my challenge to highlight what people like me are able to do starts on the 3rd of November 
in Disney World and it starts on Peter Pan's flight at 9.30 on the 3rd of November. Uh, that's when I start in the park hitting the rides, um, doing all my vlogs and doing other bits and bobs. Um, my journey finishes on Saturday the 7th of November on when I come off Space Mountain at 7 p.m. So I start Peter Pan's flight on the 3rd of November and the challenge stops on the 7th of November when I step off Space Mountain, fingers crossed. If it's not broken down and it's still running, that's when that will finish. Um, this week's vlog was called The Forgotten. I know it's very I'm trying to get as much Disney stuff as I can in on this vlog. Um, I know I've called it The Forgotten. The reason I've called it The Forgotten is I just want the people who watch the clap tonight that I've edited it in to remember there are a lot of people like me who have, for the last 13 years, um, worked for the health service and have done the most amazing things. And I think that we should be clapping for the people like me and for the people that this channel represents. For 13 years I've been immunosuppressed going into surgery and um, the risks for me have always been there. But this new virus, even though it's really nasty for me and it's nasty for now, it's affecting the people who don't have health conditions, it's just as nasty for them. So I've been living in a coronavirus world for the last 13 years. Um, so, um, and I've been doing this job with no applause. So um, for me, it's quite a it's quite a weird thing to see clapping the NHS for all the things for the amazing stuff they are doing. Um, so I'm not struggling with isolation at the moment, but I am struggling with the fact of not being at work, doing what I love to do and being trained. And I'm and I wish I wanted to be with my work colleagues, um, who are absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's one bit. Uh, also, what do we do next? Um, so uh, next things next. What do I do next? Yes. Um, some people have commented. Um, let's bring you up to date with the theme. Um, so, some people have wanted to see something different as well. And I've, I've filled this vlog with different differences. My work bag. Someone picked up on my work bag. Um, there we go. This is my work bag that I wear to work. This is my Star Wars bag and I get lots of looks when I wear it in. Um, you can buy them online. I think, I can't remember where I got this one from now. But it's got the Rebel Alliance all over it. It's a really really good bag and it's slightly tarnished now but however I've got to be perfectly honest with you it, it's supposed to look tarnished because it's it's the it's the Rebel Alliance bag and they are slightly tarnished and worn now so I think it, it's getting more character as the time goes along but this is a really nice bag um, I'll try and see if I can get a link to where I bought it from um, I'll put it on there if I can't I'll try and do some dinging around hope you like this this is my Star Wars bag so this is a bit more up to date with that. Um, when I come back after I've edited in the clap and you're going to see me in my summer house, um, I just want you to realise that when we are clapping, we are clapping for the people who aren't at work at the moment that have always given that treatment and gone way above in the NHS. People like me, the diabetics, uh, the severe asthmatics, all the people that have been told to stay at home. And we have, I feel we have been forgotten a little bit because we've been doing what people are clapping for now for the last many years. And um, and, and I just think part of what we're clapping for is the people who have already been there and done on the front lines as well. Um, so, you now know a little bit. Oh yes, I've also had this made to say thank you. That's going on the challenge bag. Ooh, it's focusing. Yeah, that's going to go on the challenge bag. Uh, and it's always been part of what I've represented. Um, so I'm going to tune out. You can see the clap for this week. If you listen carefully, you can hear the fog horns in the back because I live near the ocean. And um, it's really cool. You can see the, all the boats by the ocean are all honking their horns now. Uh, there wasn't as many fireworks as there was last week. Um, I hope you spotted my Easter egg. You're going to have to rerun this, aren't you, to spot the Easter egg. There is an Easter egg about next week's vlog. And it's in here in plain sight. And I hope you saw it. It was... Yes, it's very good. Um, there is an Easter egg for the following week's vlog. I hope you like it. Um, I hope tonight when you see my clap, you realise that I'm clapping for all the people out there who can't be at work at the moment in the NHS helping the other people. And this is also a tribute to the people I work with who are phenomenal. My hospital, Paul Hospital, is phenomenal. The staff there are really up against it at the moment. So I'm clapping for them and I'm 
I wish I was with you guys. This is my my way of contacting you. Hello to my mum, my biggest fan. She watches my videos every week. Um, and now I'm going to go downstairs and do a bit more homeschooling, do some editing, uh, and I'm going to put this on as a premiere for Sunday. I'll try and get the times right because in America it's really weird um, because I'm doing stuff to America as well. And as my tribute to America as well this evening, I just wanted people to know that yes. I do support the Detroit Lions, I'm sorry, they are my team, I saw them in Wembley and they are fantastic and there is also a story behind this to do with Disney as well. My life is so involved with Disney, it's unbelievable and next week you are going to also see something you have probably seen but not to the extent that I'm going to do it next week and it is very Disney orientated so please I'll join you after this from my summer house and uh, not the sound of music summer house obviously and I'll say my goodbyes then so I'll see you after that okay bye So, hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a quite a good one tonight. There were fireworks going off as well. Um, we stand down and do it with our children now. I'm sorry this week's been a bit of a downer vlog. It's not supposed to be like that. Um, but some people say, oh, you're so positive. And the reason I'm positive is I've been living like this for 14 years, afraid of germs killing me. And it's like I said, I just find it really ironic that germs come along and the world shut down for really good reason. And I know it's extremely dangerous to me, but so is every other bug out there. Um, and I just wanted people to know that I'm here because um, I've been told to be here when I should be with my work colleagues and it's, like I said it's hard times at the moment and, uh, I'm going to do a really good vlog on um, uh, Sunday evening a really good vlog and you're going to get to see some things hopefully you've not seen before sorry it's been down but I just think people needed to know at the end of the day there's a lot of people out there who have been forgotten and when you do your, your clap for the NHS, I think there's a lot of people who can't be there and I think we should be clapping for them as well because they've been doing for a long time what everyone else is now doing in the trust and they are heroes as well. So um, I'm speaking on their behalf uh, through my social media and uh, thank you for all the people who aren't working as well and thank you to all the people in, at Paul Hospital who are absolutely phenomenal. They're nice hard-working professionals. I know they're exhausted right now and I'm thinking of you all guys. So stay safe and um, I'll, uh, I'll be back at work soon. Okay, take care.